<sighs> All right, so you know when I when I come up with these meals, I get very excited, very excited on the inside. This you guys can't see it right now because I got my chips everywhere, but these are they're basically crunch wraps, right? They're homemade crunch wraps, and I put them in the waffle maker. One is a deluxe, and the reason I call it a deluxe is this bad mamma jamma. It's because I put cheese on the bottom and I put cheese on the top. Hello, Lisa. It's gonna be freaking good. This is gonna be a delicious hey, dinner. Yeah, yours looks really good. Yeah, and guys, we're a little bit late tonight because, well, beggars can't be choosers. I was hoping for a blizzard, but we're getting some snow tonight. Yes. And I'm on a two hour work delay. As are our kids, they're on a two hour delay. Yeah, so. so. We, I get to sleep in a little bit longer tomorrow. As do I. <laughs> and I didn't get. I buy. Very excited I didn't, for the I didn't sleep. get to my run. I didn't get to my run till. Geez, I didn't leave here till nine o'clock. Florida dude, what's up? Oh, Hello, Florida. Hello, Marie. Hello, Kimmy. Hello, Kimmy. Did you make a mess in the waffle maker? No. Um, he did not up until. Shh. This, are you yelling? Up until this one. We'll and then, the, yes. Call it the Mondo Burger. There was a big ass mess in the waffle maker. There was grease everywhere. Hi, Pam. So, yes. There was I a mess. Hi, dude in khaki. Uh, <laughs> hey, dude in khaki. I like that. Dude. What's <laughs> hey up, <dude>. Cleet? <laughs> and khaki. Khaki even, she even said when I when I decided to do the, the big deluxe at the end, she goes, You're going to break this waffle maker. I was like, You're going to break this sucker. And I have a bowl of lettuce on the side because. Um, didn't want to put lettuce in the waffle maker. Yeah, Tracy, don't let Jamie disappoint you. He did make a mess in the waffle maker for me to clean. But um, I'm not cleaning it tonight. I clean most of it. I will fine-tune that sucker tomorrow. No, just leave it out in the snow. Let the snow take care of it, guys. Snow will clean your kitchen appliances if you, number one, trust it. You have to trust the snow. Trust the process. Yeah. Um, all right, did you tell them what you had? No, I have chicken salad. It's nothing... Spectacular, guys! It's just plain old Jean old chicken salad with some lettuce, tomato, and jalapenos. That's all there is for me. Oh, I, know. I didn't feel like cooking. I was gonna make some tater tots, These and I was just like, mine. "These are my dad's." No. I was just like, "Eh." So. Listen, I never eat his shit ever. I thought it was a massive pierogi. <laughs> No. It does look like a massive pierogi. What's in the Kirkland container? <laughs> Taco Bell hot sauce. Hello, Shirley. Uh, yeah, that's all. The Kirkland container is all of our hot sauces and like sauces like from whatever fast food that we get. There's like Chinese sauce. There's sauces like from McDonald's, Burger King. I might be a little, I might be ballsy tonight and put some duck sauce on this. Yo, I never got hungry there. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Mm -mm. And I'll tell you, with the frozen dinners, I, I always go crazy on because I have an idea with one, and then it changes, and I never use it, and it just sits in Hello, the freezer. Hello, Shirley. How you doing, girl? Yeah, no. You've got frozen dinners in there for a while now. I got this, like, rib and mac and cheese thing in there. Are you waiting for me? I don't have a whole lot. So. You have three things. Yeah, that's not a lot. I've got three waffle things. Plus my shakes. Plus okay. my dad's chips that I might I Quesadilla might puffs. <laughs> They're not quesadilla puffs. Is this a mukbang channel? No. No, 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 no. We used to call our videos mukbangs, but we decided to get away from that. I was actually thinking about <clears throat> stop titling the videos of what we're eating <clears throat> and just going with like whatever happened that day. For instance, let's say I broke my foot <clears throat> tonight, you know, I, the, that title would be, hey, I broke my foot. And then we're just talking during dinner. I was thinking about it, but it's like not every day something interesting happens. Not every day. <laughs> Cheech and Chong. <laughs> We're not Cheech and Chong, though. Oh, but I will tell you guys. You guys know that I, like, hurt my, my calf. Like, my calf popped. Well, my ankle and my foot are so swollen. So
swollen to the point where you can't even tell the difference between my ankle and my freaking leg. It's so bad. I came home and can't keep sleeping. I did. I fell asleep on the couch. And I'm like, where are the kids? Love the headband, Jamie. Thank you, Cat Mom. I made a brand new one. To, this is not a new one. I made a brand new one um, tonight. Oh, and thank you for the gifts. I'm sorry I didn't see it. Thank I'm you very much. I'm the first person to say thank you. But thank you, Marie, for, for letting us know. Did I tear my Achilles? No, I popped a muscle. and My calf muscle popped on Monday. I was running and my calf muscle went... Which sucks. Because it's happened to me before. But now my ankle and my foot are completely swollen. Hello, stairs. Okay, that's it. It's time to taste these bad boys. Are they going to be good? Are they going to be bad? How can they not be good? Damn, that sounds like it hurts. Yeah, it hurts really bad. I know. You're I expecting still can't me right. to go for the big one first. Did I take the knife away? You probably did. Why would I? I did not. I'm not going to go with the Mondo uh, one first. I'm going to go oh, with... Oh, you keep your foot up. Yeah, I, I, I did today. I'm going to go with the regular one first. For a good portion, I drank a whole bunch of water thinking like maybe like... I don't know. Maybe I'm swollen because I didn't drink hey, enough Dalton. water. Oh, thank you for the gifts. Oh. Hi from Germany. Hello, Kevin. Oh, it's hot Hello, still. Hello, Princess Pants. It's good, though. Hello, it, Dalton. It doesn't taste like Taco Bell, which I was hoping for. And I'm not going to go digging for the fire. It smells like Taco Bell. Hello, Marie. I don't know if I said hello to you. I don't think you did, but I did. Well, I like to say it, too. What does the waffle... Oh, I put the waffle maker away already. What well, do know? What does the waffle maker look like? I just... It's in my video. The last, like, three videos I did. It's like a stuffed waffle maker. It's like the bottom part of the waffle maker is, like, really deep. So we can, like, put extra stuff in there. Hello, Chrissy. Hello. Oh, Chris. Chris the guy. Colorado in the building. Welcome. Welcome. Jamie, you just made me want a Reuben sandwich. Reuben's are good. I haven't. I, I did a Reuben like a month ago. Oh, to the store I am in the morning. <laughs> Sorry, girl. I Hello, love, Walter. How I you love, doing, man? What's up, Walter? I love Reuben's. <clears throat> Hello, Nelson. What's up, Nelson? You eat like a king daily. Why can't I have that? Why can't you have that? You know, yes, I eat what I want to eat, right? But I also work very hard to eat what I want to eat. And I'm pretty smart with the ingredients I use. It would be great. It would be great if I could just eat and binge on whatever I want, um, you know, daily. But oh, thank you, Chrissy. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do what I can tomorrow. I'm going to elevate it. inspired to do it. Yes, snow tomorrow. Yeah, snow tomorrow, Noreen. Lots of snow. Well, not lots of snow, but enough snow to, like, inconvenience the morning. I was kind of hoping it's it takes a lot of discipline. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I always, and I said this a couple nights ago. I look at my dinner, and some people will say, oh, he's got a, he's got a, he doesn't have a good relationship with food if he starves himself all day. No. Hold on. I look at this as like a big reward. Like, this is what gets me through the day, thinking and, and looking forward to what I'm going to eat and get to act like I'm still fat at heart, or I'm still fat in person. I'm still fat at heart. And that's why, Hello, another reason why I like to eat like this. But I just, you know, and I was good. I was good today. I was good yesterday. I'm going to go cookie crazy tomorrow night and pizza crazy. It's a good way to look at it. It helps. It helps. It definitely helps. Oh, Nelson, you're a quarantine? That sucks, man. How you feeling, Nelson? 
feeling good. Eating is the best. I love eating. I love food. I look forward to it. I think about it a lot. Um, I think about it like all day. What? <laughs> Do you, I feel like I think about food like all day. It depends if I'm hungry or not. How much weight did you lose? Uh, up there, 140 something pounds. 140 something pounds. The red juice is fruit punch. Thank you, Marie. All right, so this one is good, but there's no, there's no zest about it. This bad boy is I'm going in next on that one. And my I gained 10 pounds over the holidays. It's okay. Holiday week. Do you eat a minute fast? Yes. Oh, it's good to hear, Nelson. Well, when you only eat once a day, I can see why you probably think about it a lot. Yeah. Well, even when I was fat, though, I was thinking about food all the, all the time. All the time. But the difference between then and now is I would just eat. <clears throat> I would just eat and sleep <coughs> all day long and then drink a ton of beer and then eat a big dinner. So I was doing this back when I was fat on top of also eating during the day. Is that a waffle crunch wrap supreme? Yes, it is. That's exactly what you would call it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have to sneeze and then I lost it. <laughs> How much did you lose before you realized you had lost? Like, how much did I notice? Tracy? Oh, when, awesome, Nelson. I'm so excited. You know, when I first started losing weight, I knew I was on a, I knew I was dieting. I didn't notice that I lost 75 pounds until I took my first transformation picture. Do you remember that? When I was holding Isabella when she was a baby? Yeah. And then I'm like, holy crap. Yep. Because I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't go out. I didn't. I, all I did was work and go to the gym, and then it was like me and Khaki at home. So it's like I wasn't saying, "Oh, look at me." I don't, you know, I didn't even yeah, notice. Yeah, didn't go it. anywhere. What's up, John? Oh, thank you, Florida dude. Mexico. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you for the gifts, man. Thank you very much, Khaki. When did you start fasting? Question mark. This is the bad boy. This is what I should have done to all of them. Khaki, go ahead. Um, I started fasting like two weeks after Jamie started fasting. And I saw him like losing like weight. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should try it. So I did. I started to lose weight. But I was very cranky. But I was still, very cranky. <laughs> but she still, she still did this with me. I still did it with him. And then, you know, I fell off the wagon. A couple of years ago, I fell off the wagon. Still haven't hopped back on the wagon, but you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> and we did lose a bunch of weight together. Yeah, we did lose it together. We did. Did we work out together? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes. Maybe. It depended if we have like somebody to watch, to watch our kids. So. But when we did work out together, it was mostly like, Jamie. Jamie would be like, can you hold my phone? Take this video. I wanted to do it together. I wanted to make <laughs> videos together. And it's Khaki was all down to business, and I was into the making the videos. <clears throat> I hope they live up to the hype. What's that? What hype? What am I missing here? They both cook? Yeah. I make a bigger mess. And there are yeah, certain... We both cook, but I don't make a huge mess. Jamie makes a big old mess. Hey, it's the way. It's the way of life. Taco Bell wings? I saw that commercial. Did you see that? Taco Bell has wings? Yeah, Taco Bell really? has wings. Yep. No, I didn't know that. You want to try this? You want to try this. I should have used the cheese sauce inside, though. That's my only regret. Two regrets. Cheese sauce inside? And then I should have did cheese on on the top and bottoms mm. of both of them. Like oh, a, that's good. Like a cheese whiz. That's what I can go for. Uh, Khaki's eating chicken salad. 
my hu- when my husband was 32, he lost 150 pounds. He ran on the treadmill every day, then had a heart attack after he lost all the weight. Well, that's I'm sorry to hear that, Paisley. Oh, Paisley, girl. I'm so sorry. That's that's sad. He has a genetic blood, blood clotting, clotting disorder. Oh man. How do you find that out? How do you know if, if you have that? Is that just Oh, genetic, you said, right? Genetic, okay. Well, good thing you lost the weight. How many protein shakes do you drink in a day? I don't drink anything. No protein shakes. All day. I have a cup of black coffee in the morning and an energy drink. I'm not that guy. Not that guy that that eats and or drinks shakes throughout the day. I never like anything protein, anything. Shakes, any supplements like that. I do not like anything like that. I do. I like protein shakes. And I drink... I don't. Bang energy drinks. Rosé Rosé. He's okay now. We're in our 50s. Well, I'm glad he's okay now. That's it's easily. Good... That's scary. Well, what I was going to say was, it's a good thing he lost the weight before he had the heart attack. Because if he didn't lose the weight, he might not have been lucky to survive the heart oh, attack, thank right? Thank you for the gifts. Yeah, seriously. Uh, that's scary. How was both of our days today? Any better? Pats or... Genos? I don't... Is that a... Is that... Football? I don't know. You're not eating another reverse taco. <laughs> it's like a stuffed taco. A reverse taco. That's kind of funny. Mm-mm. One of our kids were messing with my things. Look how loose they are. I know who it was. I already know who it was. <laughs> was but your day better she today? She wasn't upstairs. Yeah, today wasn't as bad as it was <clears throat> yesterday. Yesterday it was a bad day, but today was not as bad. Today was quite, yeah, it was better What's than yesterday. What's up, Frankie? Favorite wrestler of all time? Um, I Shawn met Michaels. reverse pizza, you ate the last, yeah, no, he does do like the reverse pizza thing. And Macho Man? I don't think he can do a reverse taco. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Oh, yes, I can. I have a taco idea. Oh, jeez. Yes, Never I mind. can. Never mind. Hecky, how were your students today? Better than yesterday. <laughs> better than yesterday yeah homeschooling is hard it is and you know it's funny because our daughter's teacher called me today because we couldn't find her math book I'm like I don't remember it being sent home because apparently all of all of the kids stuff was sent home before Christmas break but I did not remember her book being sent home so, like, we're going crazy looking for it, and I, I had told her, I was like, we can't find the book, the math book. So she called me, she's like, well, it's on her desk, so maybe you really need to, like, really check at home. So I, I went through everything, I couldn't find it. And then I happened to look in our son's backpack, and I guess I stuck our daughter's math book in his backpack along with his math book. And I was looking for a complete, like, a smaller version of a math Hi, book. Hi, Alicia. So... Taco Bell's I was bringing talking, back the Mexican pizza. I was talking to her, our daughter's teacher on the phone, like, searching for the math book. And, you know, our son had the same first grade teacher as our daughter does now. So she was just like, our son wanted to get on the phone to say hello. So I let him. And she was like, oh, are you homeschooling too? Are you remote learning this week? And he goes, yes. And she goes, I really feel bad for, for your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so teachers know that it's really hard on parents when you have to roll over, especially when you have two kids in two different grades, so. I don't know she, if I have fire. I've got she, McDonald's ketchup, though. She's like, I really, really feel bad for your mom. And a buttload of Diablo. Well, thank you for your sorrow. Uh, I'll drink to that. <laughs> You guys do a lot, don't worry, yeah. <laughs> Peggy, 
do we even have any fire? Oh, there's fire in there. Yeah. Gotta dig for it. I know there's Diablo in there. Diablo is like the one. Yeah, right? Molly Zoo. <laughs> She's like, I really feel bad for your mom. <laughs> like, I feel bad for me too. First person that spots a fire sauce wins a free mug. It's I win. Hot. Oh, it's fire. Is that fire? No, it's hot. hot. That looks like a fire sauce. Diablo. That's, That's a McDonald's ketchup. Oh. It's the same color as a fire sauce. Another hot. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I'm loving it. Yeah, I don't think I have any fire. You know what it is. I use fire every time I do tacos. You guys eat like kings? Thank you. Homeschooling is way too hard. How far in advance do you plan your meals? Two hours? Three hours maybe? Sometimes if I have a really good yeah, food idea, sucks. I'll think about it all day. Like tonight's idea was taco related here puppy that's lucky it was taco related but it wasn't supposed to be in tortilla chips it was supposed to be in in, in white bread hmm. hey bunny hey bunny come here and then what happened was i looked Go. at calories uh, mm -hmm. and Go. i also looked at lucky um well first Go. off i didn't know i had tortillas Jamie's eating one day fasting? Yes, I am. How do you come up with all the different food ideas? He's loose. Yeah, he's loose. <laughs> Did he go out? He was hanging here for me with me. He's like, I, I want some food. What was I talking about? Lucky got me distracted. I was talking about something. What's up, Pops? <laughs> yeah. I didn't Pops was in the background. I didn't lock them up tonight. Jamie, hide the chip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he already did. <laughs> they already. Watch Lucky grab him. About the plan. Oh, how many do you plan the meals uh, a day? How do you, how do you plan them? Uh, so tonight's dinner, I was thinking about it all day long, but it was supposed Hello, to go. Linda. Supposed to be white bread. That's what I was saying. Hey, okay, buddy, come on. No, no, no. Turn around. No. Come on. Jump on the Come on. Come on. <laughs> Lucky's like, I want to join you for dinner. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, thank you, Florida dude. Can we see him? Um, no, I can't Molly pick him up Shoe. anymore. Mm -mm. Can't pick him up anymore. He's getting, he's too heavy. Uh, yeah, he's too heavy. He cannot pick this, this dog up. His be, head is huge. He's yeah. got like this big old head. I mean, I could pick him up, but he's just, it's, he's to a point where it would be uncomfortable for someone else to pick him up. Yeah. Here's the thing. He uh -huh. thinks like he's like this 20 pound, like lab dog. So when you're like laying hey, on the couch. Hello, MB. How are you, girl? So when you're laying on the couch, he'll just like hop up and just lay completely on top of you. You should see how he And then you can't breathe because he's no. like a 90 pound freaking lab. He's huge. He he lays on my mom like it's like he's a poodle. Like he's a little poodle. He thinks he's a little lap dog and he's not a lap dog. He did that to me today. Like I laid on the couch earlier. Did it to me the, like two days ago. Before you came home. I just let him and, like, he just can't, uh, I don't mind him laying on me, but when he like restricts my breathing, that's yeah. a problem. He's a Labrador. Yeah, he's he's a yellow lab. Do you guys mind saying your religion? Yeah, we don't talk yeah, about politics. we don't politics talk about religion, politics, or, or like anything that. like that. Uh, do you something make your own crunch wrap? Do you eat in a bar? I eat in my bar. Hey Pete, uh, crunch wraps and chicken Hello, salad. Awesome bastard. How you doing, man? Do you all cook for your parents? Well, they're not my parents. Jimmy's parents. I uh, I don't. When I was fat, I used to. Yeah. I used to cook. Jimmy used to cook for his parents. I used to. Well, I used to cook for my dad. Um, 
my mom never really ate my food. My mom is very picky. She likes good food, but at the same time, she don't like other people cooking for her. You listen to Howard Stern when you were younger. I watched the movie. I didn't listen to him, though. Did you? I saw the movie. <sighs> Private Parts? Mm-hmm. I saw the movie, but... <clears throat> never listened to him on the radio. Uh... Making ribs tonight. Nice, Bass and Bastard. Very nice. What time is it in, in Arkansas? He's not on the same time as us, right? I believe he is. Maybe That's he... why this one tastes different. This is the jalapeno one. Mm -mm. I never can remember. Hello, Cali gal. How are you? Have you ever tried burrito tacos? They're my favorite. No, I have not, but my sister makes them. My sister made it a bunch of times, and when we were in Florida, she was supposed to make it, but then she didn't. What and is that? The shaman. And then I was kind of sad, because I really wanted to try those, because that's a whole lot of work for some tacos. What's in your creation, Jamie? So, it's midnight here. Okay, so we're same time as you, Pete. Um, all right, so Tracy, so in Thank here... Thank you, brown eyes. In here, there's three different ones. The first one is ground beef, uh, tomato, sour cream, cheese. That's it. The second one is ground beef, tomato, sour cream, cheese, and jalapeno. And then the third one, the mondo one, is ground beef, sour cream, uh, cheese, tomato. And then the tops and bottoms are... Uh, are like uh, cheese burnt to the tortilla. Blah. Excuse me. So yeah, it's good. And then I got a secret stash of chips. Which I'm not gonna go crazy. Yeah, passing right. best at the same time zone as us. I know, I've been. So what time do you usually eat dinner, Pete? Around this time? Or a little eat later? Cause you're always cooking when we're eating. Twelve fifty-eight a.m. Yeah. So oh. midnight by him. Okay. Yeah, he said should be at one a.m. Gotcha. in New York. So you're an hour behind us. I don't know. I think it would be very cool if we had, like, if I knew how to use, if we had, like, a grill to go outside to do, where it was like twenty-four seven use all year round. I mean, we do have a grill outside. But it's, 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 you know what I'm talking about. And you can use it. I know you can. People that barbecue, I don't know, if they barbecue a lot, I don't think they wrap up the grill and cover it and all that stuff every night. I don't know. <clears throat> We're central time. Uh, you guys watch any good movies lately? No. Mm -mm. No, we don't really watch. Kaki watches TV. I, I don't. I'm not big on TV. Not big on movies. There are a few that I would like to see, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna. Yeah, I have a bunch of TV shows that I watch. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not in. I'm not really into anything. We grill all year round. Noreen, do you cover your grill every night and clean it, or do you? You have to clean it every time you use it. Well, you clean it. Yeah, brush it. But, like, do you cover it? I grill year-round and cover it after, after every, every use. use. Damn, okay. Is there such a thing where you don't have to cover it? And you just leave well, it out? I kind of have to cover it because if the rain touches, it's going to rush. Yeah. This is metal. Do you listen to Joe Rogan? I do. Crunch Rup, Waffle Gang? Hell yeah. I do. I, I like Rogan a lot. Um, well, thank you, Red. Thank you very much. I actually think I'm going to listen to him tomorrow. You guys are my favorite. Thank you. I thought you'd listen to like Joe Rogan every day. No. Nope. I listen to podcasts. 
all day long, right? You don't have to cover your grill in Florida. <laughs> Just won't well, last thank you, as long. You don't have to cover your grill. Oh, you grill in Florida. My husband is obsessed with Joe Rogan. He listens to five minutes of it. Never turned back on. Never turned back. Yeah, I, um, uh, uh, so I listen to mostly wrestling podcasts, like, like Jim Cornette's, uh, Experience and Jim Cornette's drive through are my two favorite, and then uh, Grillin' JR is, is right behind him. Um, you know, something to wrestle with Bruce Pritchard. I'm sure Allison, I'm sure, girl. Tony Schiavone. What time is it here? Jeff Jarrett. It's one o'clock in the morning. Hello, Lisa. Hello, beautiful couple. <clears throat> How are you all? How was your New Year's? Our New Year's was good. Didn't feel like New Year's. Just didn't like feel like New Year's at all. Christmas didn't feel like Christmas this year. I'm for starting me, to see Christmas this as a trend. Hasn't felt like Christmas for a few years. Yeah, well, I was going to say, you know. Phil Burr is decent. Holidays just don't feel like the same anymore. Only 9 p.m. here. Tiffany, where, where are you? Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? I'm making a goddamn mess. Of course you are. It's usually what you do. Yeah. Well, I would say that the holidays don't feel the same as you get older. They don't feel Screw like you that. did. I they feel... did when, like, when you were a kid. Yeah. I'm, I don't want to feel like that. I want to feel like... <laughs> you want to feel like you're a kid again. Yeah. And there's a secret to that. Hence, I mean... I still look forward to holidays, but... Oh, free in Alaska. Oh, wow. 17 degrees there. Mm, yeah, we're not that cold. But we're getting some snow. We're in New York, so we're getting some snow. They're saying like five to seven inches. So we'll see. We'll see if we even get anything at all. Because <laughs> sometimes... You know those weather people. Uh, They don't talk about their jobs. Yeah. Yeah. It's 10 here. Oh, good, good God. It's too damn cold. And now, what's the deal for tomorrow? It's more supposed to snow. Is it supposed to be windy and nasty all day? I have no idea. I just know the kids are on a two-hour delay, which means for me, I get two hours of not homeschooling. <laughs> Whoa, Mary or Mary? That's not nice. What? Is this your ho ho ho? Who didn't know? That khaki is my girlfriend. I listen to Dr. Bye, Laura. Mary. Is this your whole... His whole world. I think that's what you meant to say. Then you should have corrected them <laughs> instead of blocking them. His, oh, I didn't block. I muted. Like, they can still listen. His whole world. <laughs> Some people. What are you drinking? Fruit punch. <laughs> Homemade. A la me. It's going to be 17 in Arkansas this morning, and we got snow today, too. <laughs> Lucky you. Oh, well, that's right, Kaki. Thank you, Catmon. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. You didn't know. Thank you, Twisted Court Sister. Lynn. Hello, Court. How are you, man? Court 17 Lynn. in Arkansas this morning. You got snow today, too? Yeah, we're supposed to be getting some tonight. Which... <sighs> what time is it supposed to start? I See, don't know. I was under the assumption that it was supposed to start at 10 o'clock. And guess what? I was out running by 10 o'clock and it was still <laughs> yeah, it didn't not start. snowing. I have a feeling school might be canceled for tomorrow because I have a feeling the snow is going to happen later on. And I'm totally not opposed to school being canceled. I'm not opposed to work being canceled. I just don't think it's going to happen. I'm not opposed to school being canceled. Let's cancel school tomorrow. It would be nice to get a snow day. Snowed in two days in a row here. You broke your clavicle. Running keeps Spent you from Spent the going day crazy. in the hospital. Oh my god, Court. I am so sorry, man. That sucks. What happened? He broke his clavicle. You broke a bone. You broke a bone? Mm-hmm. 
Corlin, I hope you're all right, man. That sucks. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Court. Uh, yeah, Florida. Uh, Seriously, I'm so sorry. Running does keep me sane. I love it. I, I definitely love it. It's a great release. Yeah, how did you do that? Exactly, Marie. How did you break a clavicle? I have a feeling we're going to get a story that maybe is not PG. <laughs> Corlin, you doing some dirty <laughs> shit that, that you broke your collarbone on? Clavicle. I don't know. If, I don't know. If that's your collarbone. Is that your collarbone? Clav is up here. It says bone right here. Your collarbone. No. Yeah, this right here. Your this clav- bone right here. That's your collarbone. No, no, no. Is it? It is what it is. Yeah. It was, it was a, a tumble, tumble down, down the, the stairs. stairs. Oh no. Can you see the bones right here? See, not not your collarbone, but this bone right here. I believe that is your clavicle. I don't know. Anybody a doctor in here? Am I right or am I wrong? Someone's going to know. Damn, Court. Below. I'm so sorry, man. That sucks. What a way to ring in the new year. Happy New Year. So when do you get a new one? <laughs> I don't think he's going to get a new one. He just kind of has to heal. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Jamie is right. Thank you, Noreen. You are right, Jamie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ha ha, Pete, you're wrong. Are you, are your coworkers aware of your social media following? Um, I'm, I don't think so. I don't really talk about social media with my coworkers. Here's the thing with the people I work with, I don't really talk to them. It's not, you know what I mean? Like, I, I talk with my boss, and I don't go, I don't go. You know, I don't go saying, hey, I've got this amount of following. I don't do that. I always think it's cooler when people find out on their own. Is that a pizza burger? No, it's a, like a crunch wrap. <clears throat> well, Court, you know what? I hope you feel better sooner rather than later because I'm sure that's painful. I'm sure it sucks. And I'm so sorry that happened to you. How do you tumble down the stairs? What were you doing? What were you in a rush to get? <clears throat> Listen, you fall down the stairs all the time. I do. <laughs> you Dang. know what? There was a video the other day of me walking from the bathroom back there, walking towards hey, this Deborah? way, and I fell over the freaking dog's bed. What? <laughs> did you? <laughs> I did. And your mom saw me. And I got up and I looked around like who saw it and your mom's like, what the hell just, what the hell did you just do? I was walking and I fell over the dog's bed and your dad obviously pulled it up on the camera and then we all left. The clavicle, (laughs) the clavicle is the collarbone. Oh, I knew that, Pete. If you wake up tomorrow and you're 25 years old, what would you do different for your future? Hi, John. Um... So if I woke up tomorrow morning and I was 25. <laughs> Jamie had Doritos in the freezer. End of the day, Jamie, it's your fault. It's a good question, Christian. <laughs> you wake up tomorrow and you're 25, what would you do different for your future? What would I do differently for my future? Yeah. Would you do anything different? Um, I, I feel like... I feel like I would definitely use my money wiser and save more than I spent. Hmm. Only been in medicine for 30 years. Uh, yeah, Deborah, they're very good. Christian, you know what? I'm going to tell you why I don't feel great answering it. I feel like if I could go back to being 25 years old, everything I have right now, I wouldn't have. And anything I would, everything I would have done different would maybe prevent, when I was 25, how old were you? 26. Oh. Where were we? How long ago was that? It's if like we 10 were to years wake ago. Up into, oh, wow. So, okay. So I remember where I was at 25. 11 years ago. 11 years ago. 
Yeah, it wasn't a great time in our lives. We'd probably do a lot different. A lot different. We were not. We were. We didn't have our shit together. Yeah, we still don't have our shit together, guys. <laughs> don't think we do. We don't. We are. That's why I said yeah. I would plan my future better wisely. I would save more than what I spent. Because we were spending a lot of money. Yeah. We should have been saving money. <laughs> Mine is the pay my bills off. Yeah, I don't know. Warrior of gluttony. What does that mean? Is that an insult or a compliment? Which one you giving me? Insult, compliment. Insult, compliment. It's gotta be one of them. This was so well, freaking Gluttony, good. I think, it means like too much of something. Oh yeah. Warrior of too too much of too gluttony. much of gluttony. I feel like gluttony means like too much of something. Spending it's money on insult. food. It's Thank you. I I am right. Thank you. Oh, no. Eating too much. Gluttony. I don't eat a lot. I probably would win a bet if I were to bet you that you eat more than me. How about them apples? Everybody thinks I eat so much, but I don't. I had three crunch wraps tonight. Three crunch wraps. Not, not two bowls of oatmeal and some eggs, and then a ham sandwich for lunch, and then some peanut M&Ms as a snack, and then a brownie <laughs> for our early dessert, and then, you know, cheeseburgers <laughs> for dinner and french fries. I had three crunch wraps in 24 hours. That's it. This right here is a bowl of lettuce. I'm not going to eat it. If it's going to go... And stay it's right go, in here. It's gonna go back into the refrigerator for yeah, tomorrow. I'm not no gluttony. Jamie, that belch. Remember when I when I was new last year and I told you to say excuse me? <laughs> yes, Kimmy, I do remember that. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Your burp. Me? Yeah. I do. People don't realize how much, how much one, one snacks, snacks throughout, throughout the day. The day. Yeah. yeah. You don't know how much that ends up to. It's a lot. Is it a lot easier to maintain your current weight than it was to lose it? Um, yeah, because I, you know what, Christian? I don't really pay much attention to, uh, put it this way. If I go and go heavy calorie meals a couple nights in a row or on vacation like we did over the summer... Ah, gluttony means overindulge. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I don't really wor worry about it because... That was an insult. Back when I was trying to lose weight, uh, it was hard. It, geez, it wasn't really hard for me. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of people struggle with weight loss. And for me, it, w it, was, uh, it wasn't hard for me. It was just a matter of you got you to do the work. Three degrees out feels like negative seven. Damn, Deborah. I really that wanted to sucks, lose weight. That's too cold for me. How cold? Oh. She says seven. She said it's three degrees, but it feels like negative seven. No. <laughs> no. No. Kaki eats a lot less than me, and uh, we don't have the same taste in foods. Hence, why we eat something different just about every night. Mm. Ah, fast food is poison. Hunt, cook, organic. If you really want to be healthy. I like healthy. What, I like what I'm they doing. Said healthy, quote unquote. I like what I'm doing. Uh, uh, uh. Your relationship with your man feels like a negative seven. Court, was he the reason you fell down the stairs? <laughs> is that why you're saying that? Deborah, I have chicken salad. Plain old, Jane old chicken salad. But it was good. Mm. It was okay. Do you want to try a different pizza place tomorrow night? Or do you want to do what we did on Saturday? I didn't have pizza on Saturday. You did. I did. And it was I good. I didn't have pizza on Saturday. Ah, uh, he was You were pushed. pushed. Oh, no, you were pushed. Court, the foul. Who did it? Tell no. me who did it, Court. Who Portland, you? because we know you're okay, 
and you're joking about it, don't think I'm mean, or don't think I'm a jerk for wanting to, to, to see the actual push. I kind of want to see your reaction to when you got pushed, and what you said, how you looked. Did you fall awkwardly? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Jamie and I find people falling funny. Yeah, because we, uh, we laugh because at each other. Jamie falls all the time down the stairs, and we have cameras in the house. Depends, so. Christian, on who makes it. Some are good, some are not so, good. So whoever falls down the stairs, we always pull up the replay on the camera. <laughs> and then we just laugh and yeah, laugh Deborah. and laugh and laugh. Like the last time Jamie fell down the stairs, it looked like, so he just like turned into a board and just like splat <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or even like on Christmas Day, Jamie stepped on a on Dramatic, the dog toy. What? Jamie stepped on a dog toy on Christmas Day and fell. And fell. <laughs> right and on no my knees. No matter how many times I watched it, <laughs> it's still hilarious. Here's the thing: when I fall, <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> I look like a big doof. <laughs> and I fell right here. I stepped on a dog. It was literally like right here in this corner right here. I fell, but it's like I fell straight on my knees, so I kind of fell like an old man. Like ah. <laughs> and his coffee went splatting all over the floor. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I remember seeing a video of Jamie falling on the stairs with his daughter and Khaki said, Oh, oh my god. god. Jamie, did you show you your bra did you show your bracelet? It's new? No, my daughter made me these. These aren't new. One's gibberish and then one says I love my daddy. <laughs> I think I know why you don't give up the ingredients for the fruit punch. Oh yeah, do tell Christian. Make a deal with you. Oops, sorry. I wish you had a video of Jamie's junk ass climbing out of the sunroof that time. You know what, Fasting Bastard? I wish I had a video of that. Because that, if I posted that to my TikTok, Drunk would have... climbing out of the sun. No, that would, would go viral, been Pete. viral. The, the, the roof thing? <laughs> that would go viral. My drunk ass naked climbing out the it sunroof? It was literally bare ass sliding down the windshield, rolled off of the trunk, and splat straight onto the concrete no calcium? in the road. Lack of protein, always drinking junk drinks. What? Huh? My drinks aren't junk. I got plenty of calcium. What happened? Well, Cat Mom, there was this one incident where we were at Jamie's parents' house before we lived here, and there was beer pong happening in the backyard. <coughs> I got fucked up. Jamie got really, 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 really drunk. And, like, we had brought our dogs over at the time because they had their dog, their, their one dog. And we had our three dogs, and we brought them over. They were all playing. And Jamie got really drunk. So I had to, like, load our fur, at, fur kids into the car along with Jamie and his brother. And I was driving. Jamie was in the back seat with the dogs. His brother was in the front seat with me. And the sunroof was open. And we were stopped at the light, and Jamie thought it was a great idea to climb out of the sunroof, wearing nothing but, like, shorts that were entirely too big. And they slid off. They slid off. Well, my butt. As his butt slid down <laughs> the freaking windshield, the and all you saw was bare ass <clears throat> on the windshield, and then he splatted onto the hood, and then rolled off. Onto the street. Oh, uh, what the, those were the days. Thank God. There to was be, no cops around. <laughs> to be young Thank and God. dumb. Well, hot dog, Christian. I was kind of hoping that you were going to uh, <laughs> let me know why you don't, why I don't give out my ingredients to my, my drink. Yes, it was hilarious. And we still talk about it to this day. And it's still equally as funny as it was. <laughs> Actually, it was not funny when it happened to me, because I was screaming, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm screaming, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and his brother's sitting next to me, dying, laughing, I'm like, no, 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 go get him, get him, pick him up at the street, he's gonna be hit by a car. 
Uh, that was so bad. Yeah, and that, but the crate. Here's the sad thing. The, well, the, the messed up part was Kaki opened the door to come get me, and we had our dogs in the back, and they all hopped out. <laughs> I did not open up the door to come get you. I made your brother get out to go get All right, you. Well, the dogs were out in the street, and then you got out. <sighs> I always come during the most crazy conversation. <laughs> oh, just reliving a part of our past. Yeah, we're just living a part of Jamie's drunk past. Because it's an adult <laughs> beverage. Uh, no, I wouldn't say it's an adult beverage. I mean, it's a, it's a responsible. A, a, you know, beverage. Oh no! Kids can, I have kids can drink it. An adult beverage. Packy's got the, the 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 alcohol. Not me. No cars were coming. Yeah, exactly. No, it was I'm like three thirty in it the was, morning. It was very early in the morning. It was very early, thank God, because otherwise it's a very busy street. You ready for bed? And Jamie's just a dumb dumb for doing that. <laughs> hey, it's a story. <laughs> it's a story. Classic. Yeah, what exactly. We, listen to me. What do we have? Um, uh, on the sweet side of things, do we have any? You have cookies you you found? Oh yeah, I found. Are they some, stale? Uh, they're a little crunchy. Let's try. I them. didn't find them. I know my mom found them. I totally forgot they're in there. Where are they? Hello, Pat. I don't know where they put them. Hello, Pat. Who? Hello, Tina. There they are. Where's the chocolate? There they are. You two are so fun. Well, thank you, Kimmy. I wasn't so fun that time. Because I was the sober one being like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I was just like, that was not fun. Maybe. It was not fun, sure. but it's funny now. It's Y'all more seem funny so now cool to hang out with. We than are, it was at the hey, time. Listen, <laughs> we, we are, I will tell you this, guys, when it's just me and Kaki, um, like when we go to our, the city and have our, our, our alone time, we are very, we're a very, this is not us boasting about how cool we are, but I think me and I don't Kaki think are, we're cool, but oh, I, like, I think, I think me and you out on the town, we are hip. We are, we are pretty freaking cool. <laughs> I'm not saying we're John Travolta and, and what's his, <laughs> what's the girl, the girl from Greece, but we're cool. We're pretty damn cool. How can you say we're not cool? I, I don't know. We do our own thing. Right? Yeah. So we don't really hang out with people. But if people were to hang out with us, I think they'd have a freaking grand time. I think so, too. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> can't undoubt... Can't, you can't doubt our coolness. Our coolness, guys. Our coolness. <laughs> hey, Fast and Bastard. He'll be honest. He'll either tell me, Jamie, I think you just... You know, <laughs> Oh, don't ask Fassy Bastard. I'm going to ask because he'll give it to me straight. Pete, do you think me and Kaki are fun to hang out with? You are cool. You are cool. Ah, you guys are so nice. I totally agree. Thank you very much. I wouldn't say that we're cool. I'm, I'm eating one cookie and then we're going to end it. I think it would be fun to hang I don't know. I wouldn't call us cool. Oh, no. Though. We're cool. You know why? Because we don't give two shits about what other people think of us. Well, yeah. There's that, too. That makes you cool. Here's the heart. Thank Aww, you. Oh, thank you for the gifts. You should have. You should have to meet up when you go to Florida. You're both chill. Thank you. Thank very you, much. Noreen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> yeah, guys. Whoever who gave the gift? Did you say the name? No, I didn't know oh. who did it. Well, thank you, whoever did that. Usually it says boots. it on your end, but I can't see it. Hey. Yeah, those boots are pretty damn cool. Thank you, Forever did that. Who did that? Pizza Forever or potato chips? Potato chips. Those boots you wore in the city were cool. Oh, Kenny, yeah, my boots. That was the one and only time I ever wore those suckers. It was me. Thank you, Lori. Oh, thank you, Lori. These boots were made for walking. I never wore those boots again. They're walking so painful. Is what I'll do. Thank God One for a shoe dazzle. Boots will Ten dollar sale. You walk it all over you. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking dumpster fire, Pete. <laughs> well, thank you, but that's kind of so messed up. <laughs> what, Pete? Yeah. Pete he called you a dumpster fire. That's not nice. 
It's nice. That's a secret code word for Jamie. I love that's you so Jamie, much. That's Jamie. I still love you. That's a secret. <laughs> that's a secret code word for Jamie. I went to the local Kroger oh, and had a big the poster Again, printed thank out you for of the just you shirtless eating a slice of pizza. You looked pretty and cool. Oh, up thank my, you. And I, I could, hung it up on my ceiling so I get to say goodnight to you every night. I could barely walk on those damn things. And I still pull them out from time to time and look at them, and I'm just like, oh, you're so pretty, but uh, you hurt, so I'm not going to worry anymore. Would you guys ever do a meet and greet? It depends. It depends, because then you, I mean, I would, so if enough people wanted to hang out with me and Kaki, and we were going somewhere, like in a very public area, say, hey, me and Kaki are going to go and be here for some pizza or some drinks. Which that probably just like have a case. drink or whatever. Yeah. I wouldn't... Oh, bye, Noreen. You have a good night, girl. I def yeah, I definitely would. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, I wouldn't, like, set up a whole meet and greet thing. Yeah, no. I'd be like, hey, this is where we're going to be. We'll come hang out, come hang out. We've seen people do that. And... It doesn't end well. It doesn't end well. Thank you, Lori, again, girl. Thank you for the gifts. <clears throat> Mwah, thank you. You're going to meet me. And I'll greet you. Yes, yeah. you're right, Kimmy. You will meet us in Florida. Love you both. Thank you oh, very much. Oh, thank you, Lori. All right, I said I was going to do one cookie, and this is number, I think, two or three. And those ones are kind of crunchy. They're not soft like they're supposed to be. If you haven't already, you will never, you never will, and that's okay. Not necessarily. I don't think me and Kaki are popular. To set up a meet and greet. Yeah, I don't think we're popular enough for that. Yeah. I wouldn't say, hey, we're going to go meet at this bar in Manhattan. Guys, yeah. come come hang out. And plus, to be to be honest, <laughs> me and Kaki don't go out a lot. Yeah, that's At true. all. So, and plus with the world being crazy, unless if you were to argue the fact, oh, Jamie, what are you talking about? You are getting popular. Yeah, I've been getting popular during this time of the, the world being shut down. So it's not like, you know... A lot of people that follow us aren't really from New York. I mean, we have some, but like not. I'm just from saying the world has gone crazy. That too, the world's gone nuts at this point. We'll see. Oh, good night, John. Have a good night, man. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, thank you, guys. Uh, that's exactly what happens with me, me and Oreos. Oreos. There goes there a whole goes row. A row. <laughs> yeah, well, Oops. these actually, these khaki made these before Christmas, so these are going to be bad. So yeah, no. I'll take care of them tonight. They're very crunchy. You ready, Yes. All right. Good night, guys. We will see you tomorrow night for pizza. Pizza. I love and you guys. Snow. Off to bed. We'll go and try to sleep. Can't Sweet believe. dreams, everybody. Have a good night, Court. Have a good.